Welcome to Art at Your Library at Carnegie Stout Public Library for October and November 2020. I am Susan Hemricks, the director of Carnegie Stout Public Library. And we're proud this month, these next two months, to feature Mia Natra and Andrew Grayside. You'll be hearing from each of them as they describe their works, and you'll be able to see some of it as well. The exhibit will be open during all business hours throughout October and November so that you can come in and see it personally. The library has a long history in the arts. And dating back to 1902 when the library opened, our first work of art received is this vase, which was donated by Judge O.P. Shiras. Many of the library's original artworks were donated by art lovers in the community. And Art at Your Library is a continuation of this program and our love for the arts. The Art at Your Library is intended to celebrate our local artists in particular. Thank you and enjoy the show. My name is Mia Nutrut. I am an artist um, based out of Platteville, Wisconsin. I graduated from the University of Wisconsin with my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art Education. Um, I'm really excited for this opportunity. Thank you to Carnegie Stout for hosting this still. Um, hopefully we can have an opening sometime. Um, but I paint mostly in acrylics. I dabble in a little bit of every other media from stained glass to uh, wood burning, but acrylic painting is my primary media. Uh, for this show, I did a series of plants, and I've always been drawn to plants, both having them and also painting and drawing them ever since I can remember and like drawing plants. Um, there's a quote from one of my favorite artists, Frida Kahlo, who says, I paint flowers so they will not die. And I love that. Um, plants die, it happens, part of life. Um, but painting these plants is kind of my way of helping their life grow on a little longer. Um, so I'll start with this one. This is one of my favorite plants. Uh, they titled it Modern Bouquet because I love getting, you know, flowers are nice. Getting set flowers is nice. Uh, but I would just rather get a plant. <laughs> it lasts longer and it's probably cheaper. And this is one of my favorite plants. It's a rubber plant. I don't have it, but I love it. Uh, I love the crisp shininess of the leaves and I like the way it stands out against this coral colored background. So some of these plants that I painted are my personal plants that I have in my home. Others, like this rubber plant, are just ones that I admire from a distance and hope to have someday when I have a bigger house. This plant, this is my yucca that I have in my home. Um, I love it a lot. I wanted to paint it and I struggled with getting a picture of it that I could work from, that I enjoy. There's just so much going on with all of its leaves. Uh, so I tried to zoom in once really close and I ended up loving it, loving how it looks, how there's a ton of leaves overlapping and that's why I titled it Welcome to My Jungle because it kind of reminds me of a jungle, especially from this close. And I love the way that the blue comes in as well. This piece over here is based on my house growing up. It's called Chestnut Street which is a street I grew up on, and we always had peonies around the house, and then my mom would paint, plant us a circle of sunflowers, and we call it us our sunflower house, so that's a really great memory. And then these liner pieces that I have are kind of based on my drawings. This is a style that I like to draw plants in, very linear, lots of lines to show the value rather than shading the pieces in. So I had never painted in that style before and just thought I'd give it a try. And I like how it's black and white with the background being the color. It's a nice uh, break from, in this series, the other bright, colorful, realistic paintings that I brought in. This piece right here is actually my Monstera that I have at home that I actually purchased recently. I love it and I love um, it on this yellow background and how the leaves overlap there. This piece here, I called it my castle. Um, it's based off like a Cinderella castle cactus, which I really love. This one took a little more of an abstract route. I left out the spines on purpose. I just liked how 
it was linear, vertical, um, without them, and I just like the smoothness of it, which is kind of contradictory to it being a cactus. This piece, I had the canvas, it's actually wood, but I had it before I even knew what I was going to paint on it, and I wanted to paint something really um, vertical because of the nature of the long uh, canvas, and I like these cascading palm leaves. Um, I called it dry waterfall because it just kind of is falling down and leaving this negative space here at the bottom. This one is called Shift in Perspective because of this big leaf here that you see. Um, it's just a different way of looking at a rubber plant, how it's right up in your face and then you're looking over that leaf to the rest of the plant. I love the negative space that happens in this piece because of the way the leaves overlap and the perspective that it's painted at. I also love um, the contrast of red and green that naturally happens in that plant. This piece is a bird of paradise um, and I called it transition because I, it feels to me like it's opening up. Um, it's a very tropical plant that I have in my house but I will probably never get to see it flower like this unfortunately so this is a way for me to see that flower and have it in my home. And then this piece is another line work piece, very simple. Um, I tried to just focus on the lines of the palm plant and contrast that with the dark background.